So here we have the Vauxhall Astra Elite Estate uh, on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the three individually folding rear seats in the back. Okay, now that we're in the car, we're going to start with the controls on the steering wheel. On the right hand side, we have stereo controls. And on the left hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, as well as phone controls. Over in the center is the touchscreen for the car. You can see we have satellite navigation. Uh, there's a full video showing how this sat nav system works that you can find on our website uh, and also on our YouTube channel as well. You can pair your phone from here. Every push of the home button takes you back to the main menu. You'll also see in terms of your audio uh, in this car, we have the radio, of course. So this car's got FM, uh, DAB and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Nothing is connected at the moment. You can connect up a USB device. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, there are plenty of ways overall to listen to your music in this car. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed and then determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on and it's on when that light shows. It'll also turn it off again, of course. Or hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for, which you can hear it doing by taking control of the fan speed itself. You can override that manually at any time you wish to. We also have a heated driver seat, heated passenger seat, and a heated steering wheel. The driver seat and passenger seat both have three different heat settings each. Uh, we then have a six speed manual gearbox. And just in front of that, we can turn off the stop and start. We can turn the traction control on and off and the parking sensors on and off as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.